Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Okay. Hi, I'm Game Guides. Time for more Let's Play Yoshi's Island DS, the low score challenge. This next level is kind of a problem, but, but we'll, we'll get to that. <laughs> we'll get to that. But, um, yes. Oh no, we are in a cave. And a falling noise is happening. Oh, watch out! Oh no! I landed on a green donkey. Thankfully, this thing broke my fall. <laughs> Why are you being mean to me? You are a dummy. You're losing your memory. What are you looking at, man? I don't think you should be looking at me. What you, you stupid monkey, you call me fat? I'm not fat, you're fatter than me, because I said so. You over there with the green hat, I think I, I... There's some guy who's stealing your style or something, I don't know. You like a gigantic lizard? <laughs> Giddy up! Why'd you sound like a boo all of a sudden? That's just weird. No, seriously, like, get off of me, man. Don't make me knock you off and then ground pound near you. Because I'll totally do that. This is pretty fun, you stupid princess and you stupid bird. I'm gonna hang out with you guys for a while, you stupid monkey and you stupid red hat kid. You look familiar. I feel like I've seen you before somewhere. Baby Bowser's joined the team. Is this a good idea? You can almost see a sinister plan hatching in his little green head. Oh, it's not the plan that's sinister, it's friend or foe that's sinister. <laughs> uh, who's the cutest little king of the Koopas? He can light up dark places and melt ice. It's pretty great. So, Baby Bowser is one of the babies in this game. That's pretty interesting. He can breathe fire, it's pretty great. Uh, the major flaw with this, however, is that Yoshi can no longer eat things as long as Baby Bowser is upon his backside. This causes problems where if you run out of eggs, you're kind of stuck unless you find one of these convenient little eggplants here, or um, like an egg block or whatever. You know, wherever floats your boat and stuff. Um, he can also shoot upward and such, in case you needed to know. As previously displayed, he can burn ice blocks and such. It's a pretty wonderful thing. He can also light torches, because he totally needed more light. Um, also, you know, he has the same hovering capability as a certain monkey, which makes him very useful, not gonna lie. At least he's not like the stupid Wario who's like, Oh, I'm gonna grab all the red coins for you because I'm a butt nugget. Um, but no, no, no. Baby Bowser, he is an interesting sort of fellow. Always, uh, you know, scheming about them green donkeys and trying to wide them all the place. What the heck, man? I don't understand. Some of these coins up here are red, so you should, like, watch out or something. I've run into them on occasion. It's kind of annoying. So, here's the thing. I'm on the top screen right now. You probably want to switch to the bottom screen, because, um, things are going to happen here pretty soon. Um, basically, the problem with this level, there's no enemies that can do damage to you in the last room, and, spoiler alert, the next room is the last room. So you have to make a mad dash towards the goal. Except the room is actually small enough that you can get there before the counter hits zero. Uh, the problem with this, though, is it's actually still pretty big. Um, so, yeah, you gotta make, like, a mad dash to even remotely get anywhere close. Also, this is, like, the worst thing. If you get freaking Baby Bowser back on your back right here, it's problematic. Because, again, you can't use your tongue right now. So in order to actually transport an enemy over there, you have to lose your baby, grab a, a thing, and then uh, have your baby get stuck, I guess. Also, you can't even spit them out when you have Baby Bowser on your back, so um, this isn't going to go well. <laughs> this is just see, a, a silly sort of thing. You get over there. Baby Bowser, get back over here. You are as much a butt now as you have been in the past. Also, the stupid thing is going the wrong way. This part's annoying. See, if you get into a situation like this, it makes more sense to actually just restart the level. But, um... <laughs> well, 
Yeah, I guess I could just die. That'd probably be faster, because I'd still have the midpoint, but whatever. Whatever. This is the first time through the level, so I'm going to show you just how much fun this level can be. <laughs> just how much fun. It's the greatest amount of fun. Yes. So... I've lost the baby again, and he's crying. By the way, the reason you want it on the bottom screen is so you have more time to catch the baby from the toadies. Because um, if you're on the top screen, you have a problem. Anyway, this is the last room. Um, I've already screwed up, actually, because I need to be like way faster than I have been. All that's in here are these bumpities. Like, you can go and look around the room all you want, but all there are here are bumpities. Uh, some of these coins right here are red, so do be careful. You're gonna need to jump off of the thing at some point, and then Mr. Watch is going to, of course, beep a whole lot while I'm just... In... <laughs> Stupid. What was I saying? Something about potato salad. No, um, go away! I'm trying to explain a thing. Gosh. <laughs> you need to run through this room as fast as you can, avoiding that red coin up there, and then getting through the goal ring. I believe the lowest score I can get is an Eight. That's the lowest score I was able to get back in uh, the olden days, but um, yeah, that's uh, an issue. Also, here's the fun part. When you go back into the level after exiting it, you get to watch the cutscene again! <laughs> that's not annoying in the slightest. <laughs> so, um, this video is going to be me over and over again attempting to get at least a score of an eight. <laughs> Can I get lower than that? I don't know. I have I tried for a while earlier, and it doesn't seem entirely feasible. It might be a little faster to hit that wheel platform with eggs, like, after a while, but that I don't know necessarily. It's, it's hard to say. Plus, those bumpities kind of are right positioned in a way where you actually... You're pretty much guaranteed to get hit by them, actually. <laughs> I, I don't know. This level is just annoying. Also, for those wondering, no, there's no stork stop in this level because this is your first time playing as the baby Bowser. Therefore, they're going to force you to use him. So, um, you can't actually switch babies in here. And since the first time you play the level is the only time that matters... <laughs> eh. I'll see you at the goal for inevitable fail. Dang it. Stupid. Attempt number two. Let's see how well this will go. Um, let's throw eggs a whole lot. Oh, jeez, I didn't... Wow, and then I didn't jump. Okay. I can almost say I kind of just confirmed I can get a seven, but for whatever reason, when I pressed the B button, Yoshi didn't jump. Well, that just made this even more obnoxious. Yay. Here comes attempt number three! Oh, man! Yeah, blow that fire, baby Bowser! Whoa, the physics! Okay, so the physics of the thing are still... I'm, I'm, like, still under the effect of the physics of the platform, so I can't jump. Which doesn't make any sense, but okay, whatever. Ah! Stupid freaking front plants. Freaking shy guys in my way. Freaking ghost guys in my way. Attempt number four. Always a fun time when you screw it up again. It's pretty great. Yeah. Blah. Well, I got an eight. <laughs> I think I got an 8. It's hard to say, but, um, alright. Let me just go ahead and scope this out. Okay, it's an 8. Um... Do we want to try again for a 7? You know, this video is going to be fairly short, and I'm going to assume that I'm only going to do this level in this video. So as a result, I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and just go back and try again. Um, until I can get a 7. So, um, yay. Back to the file select screen I go! 
Shy guy, get out of my way. Freaking everything is just running into me all the time. What do I have in my mouth? <laughs> what even? Ugh. Super happy fifth try times! I love super happy fifth try times. They're my favorite times. Oh my gosh, wow, did I just did I just do it like in the fifth try? Like the very next try after I got the eight? Like, okay. <laughs> uh, oh wait, no, no I didn't! What? It, it showed a seven! <laughs> no fair! No fair, man, no fair. Well, <laughs> attempt number six is the best attempt because it's the one with the letter S in it, and I missed, so I'm pretty much screwed. Yay! Wow, I just ground pounded for like no reason. That was weird. <laughs> um, so I got that coin there. Was that the red coin, or was it? Uh, no, it wasn't. Okay, it must have been the second one in line. I thought it was the first one. Not that it matters, I messed up anyway. Whatever. Attempt number seven is the best one because it starts with the letter S. Wait, that was that was number six. Oh jeez, I, I fell down way too low. Dang it. Attempt number eight is the best one because it starts with the letter E. I don't know. I don't understand the physic. What the heck just happened there? I somehow magically got... Stayed on the platform, got the seven, and didn't get that red coin? Like, that's the only coin I didn't get? Wow, that was by total accident, but okay. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> oh, baby Bowser, you're hilarious. <laughs> With that, um, next time we're gonna go... I don't know, I guess the next baby we're getting is a penguin. We seem to be getting a lot of babies lately. Uh, why not a baby penguin? I think a baby penguin would be kind of sweet. Or, 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 I could say it'd be kind of cool, because, you know, it'd be a pun of sorts, but... You know, that's a pun I've used so many times, so I'm not going to use it this time. Instead, you'll just have to figure out what sort of pun I'm going to use next time. I will see you later. Goodbye. Man, I'm never going to get that lucky again. <laughs> Come time for Let's Play It Again, I feel like that level's going to be all kinds of terrible. <laughs> video padding. <laughs>